Hey YouTube friends, um, today I'm here to show you guys the power of makeup and um, I'm doing this video because um, I watched Nikki tutorials and I saw her video and I thought you know a lot of people tell me I look different too when I have makeup on and without makeup I look like a totally different person. I'm going to be doing half my face and the other side is going to be no makeup on. So right now I have no makeup on, nothing, no moisturizer, no nothing at all. So. This is how I'm starting off. This I woke up with hair like this and face like this and everything. So yeah, so let's get started and I'm gonna get to doing the one side of my face. And please don't forget to like, subscribe below, comment. If okay, first I'm gonna do is like I said, I have no moisturizer on, so I'm going to moisturize my face with this instant aging lining primer. By Maybelline. It's going to prime the one side of my face. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my foundation and I use Fit Me by Maybelline, Fit Me Foundation by Maybelline. I'm going to mix two colors. I'm going to mix 220 and 322. So I'm going to use a beauty blender and I've already soaked it and squeezed the water out so it's really spongy and moist right now. Just gonna do this side, which is my right side. Here you can see it's already hidden the redness, a little bit of dark circles. So with this beauty blender, you wanna tap and twist, tap and twist to your skin. So next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to take concealer, and this one is True Match, uh, L'Oreal True Match Concealer. Looks like this. And I'm just gonna take it right under the eye area. Now I'm going to go back in with the beauty blender and just dab and twist. As you can tell, most of my videos, I don't talk much when I do my makeup because it's really hard to, but I don't know, today's just a little bit easier, but bear with me if I don't talk and communi communicate with you as much. I'm just focusing on makeup while, while I'm doing the make my makeup. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with it's the age rewinding um, concealer. Just in, put a little right under my eye area. Take the beauty blender and dab it, twist it. Now I'm going to contour my face, and you will see my cheek zone will pop out, my jawline will be more defined, my double chin. Yes, I have a double chin will be gone, just like that. No surgical procedures here. Okay, now I'm just going to put it right here in my cheekbone. A little bit right here. So, I I used um, I usually use NYX contouring palette, but today I'm using this Sephora Deep Ebony Ebony um, foundation powder. Um, yeah, it's foundation powder, but I use it as contouring powder. Now I'm going to be using the multi-task brush, which is this one, and just blend it a little. Blend it in here. Okay, so um, yep, that's contouring as you guys can see. Just gonna lightly do this area right here again. This side you can see contouring. This side definitely not contouring. Nothing like that. Dark circles, no dark circles, contouring, no contouring. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is 
put blush on, put bronzer on, and highlighter. So what blush I like to use is this blush right here. It's so, 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 so pretty and pink. Really pinky peachy color. Now I don't know how to pronounce this name, Ella Masca. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I received this from my sister-in-law and I really, really love this brand. And this is um, the powder blusher in Hussy. That's what it's called. Today I'm gonna be using this fan brush. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on, tap it and start from the top of my cheekbone down and so it looks really natural. Now I'm just gonna pat it on my fingers like this and then I'm gonna go in with the multitasking brush again and take my bronzer here. And this bronzer is Park Ave Princess by Tarte. This is how the front looks like. Just go in like this, tap it, and put it all over like this. And it'll give me that bronzy, sun kissed look. Okay, next I'm going to do is I'm going to um, highlight my face. I'm going to highlight my cheekbones, uh, forehead, the nose, cupid's bow, and chin. I'm going to go back in with um, the fan brush. And I don't have a highlighter, a shimmery highlighter, so I'm just using an eyeshadow. And this eyeshadow is by Maybelline, um, the Eye Studio one in 70 copper chick so I'm going to be using this color right here so I just go through like that and lightly put it right here in my little bit of my forehead my nose keep its bow and chin area so I totally forgot to contour my nose see my finger I'm just gonna lightly put it right there okay so my face is pretty much contoured, foundation, everything already except eye makeup and my brows so I guess I'm going to be doing my brows first and today I'm just going to be using my um, regular Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit and it just looks like that I've been using that as you can tell this is what I use it's easy to use and really affordable I'm going in with the light brown first to fill in any blotchy spots totally different <laughs> now I can see the difference between my brows big big difference Brows not on fleek and brows on fleek. Okay, I'm done with my brows, so now I'm going to be moving on to my eye makeup. I'll be probably using my E palette and it has uh, Makeup Geek and Anastasia Bubble Hills. This is both Anastasia Bubble Hills. No, these are both Anastasia Bubble Hills and these are Makeup Geeks. Before I do my eyeshadows, I'm just going to prime my eyelid with this Jumbo Milk Pencil by NYX. Okay, I'm going to be taking my Equal Tools brush and a, bl a blending brush right here. 
and I'm going to go in with Chickadee, this yellowy orangey color. And I'm um, gonna start right above my crease line. The next thing I'm going to do is going to take Sienna, which is on the side of the Beverly Hills, with the blending brush and just So I'm not really much of a, a smudging person on my bottom lashes, but today I am just going to blend that in. And I'm just going to go back in with the Concealer Stick by L'Oreal True Match and highlight my brow bone right here. Smudge it a little bit and then use my finger to go in much the rest okay so next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my lashes on I'm not gonna put any eyeliner on today I'm so horrible putting lashes on and I've been doing it for too long okay so now my lashes are on and um, that's a complete look for the eye area last step is lip gloss or lipstick whatever you choose and I have a couple right here I guess I'll put dark purple this one is soft cream lip cream by NYX in SMLC 20 okay so guys this is the finished look this is the makeup side and the non makeup side so you guys can tell the difference yeah I just like putting it on because I just like coloring my face so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and Stay tuned, check out my other videos, subscribe, like, thumbs up. Thank you.